It, it, it would appear that I have an alcohol problem. <laughs> Hello, Will here, and today we are back in Skyrim. Uh, we are going to be looking at a new mod, or relatively new. And this one adds in three new custom races. Uh, the mod is just called custom. Well, there's a bit of a slightly longer talk to it, but it's basically it's PS4 custom races. Uh, I think it has the three races in the title as well. But this mod was created by Julie Ha, which I think I've covered one, one or two of their mods before. Uh, so what this one does, it, it, but it does it as, as it says. It adds in, it adds in some new races. So we've got three different races to look at. So we're gonna have a look. So obviously I've got, I've got a bunch of different races as you can see as well, but that's from another mod I have installed. So not all of them are from this custom race mod. There's only three of them that are from the custom race mod. And the first one is this one, Demon. You skipped how with nothing but your fist as a weapon. Anyone who now decides to get on your nerves deserves to be punished. Powers. Increased unarmed damage, berserker rage, once per day. So as you can see, the models are definitely different. I don't know how far diversity they go in with this. Into like into ways of like being able to change certain aspects of the characters in this deck, but that's what we're gonna look at. So so obviously you can see it's based off an orc. And as you can see you've got horns, you're red, you have powers as well, so you got all that kind of stuff to go with it. The next one is Forest Nymph, also known as whatever that word says. Forest Nymphs live in harmony with nature. This calm and sensitive race is strongly gifted in the art of archery due to its highly developed senses, which its ancient blood provides immunity to poisons and diseases. So I think that, yeah, they all have their own slightly separate perks. Uh, their skills are also set to a different kind of way, so like some will be better at doing archery but may not be good at magic, others, another one will be good at magic but not good at one hand one handed combat, others will be good at basically fighting but be pretty bad at magic. You know, so you know, it's to create a bit of diversity within the, all the new races that they've added. And the final one is down here in the siren. Sirens draw their energy from the depths of the sea. In return, they use their powers of the seduction to offer helpless souls as customs to their mother element. Their scales give them special protection against attack and enable them to stay underwater indefinitely. So, yeah, I'm going to guess for the siren by reading that. I'm going to guess for that that you will be able to obviously breathe underwater and not need to worry about drowning. And you might have like some like resistances to like magic and maybe and possibly also physical damage. You know, you'll have a bit of resistance to them. So just for this video, I'm only gonna I'm only gonna go through the one race, but you know, so you can have a look at what you could do with the other two races. But for this one we're gonna go with we're gonna go with the siren. Just for this video. So 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 you can see, you know, you can see a bit further away, so sirens bit blue, you can see it's got scales, you know, it's got a bit of panning. Uh, so it does work in male and female, so it's not just one. Um, I don't know what this kind of grassy stuff the female has on, I'm not totally sure what that actually is. <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll just leave it, um, you know, we'll just create a character, la la la. Uh, okay, so that does mean me that this little bug here and you change the complexion and unfortunately it does change the skin colour on the head uh, so it does look like that you might not be able to do too much customization with the character you may have to so you can do this stuff easily uh, so I'm not going to mess around with all of these so do you expect there to be some like little bugs I mean it looks like the wall paint works fine so you know you can still do stuff with wall paints um, some of the wall paints I've got might be added in because of extra other mods I've got in, so they may not all the wall paints may be accessible to you. It's just in my case they are. So I don't know, we'll just go for that one and uh, 
Oh, we might as well keep it the same colour as what it is there, just so it matches. There you go. Better being, better being. Alright. Uh, eyes? Can you change the eyes? Yeah, you can change the eyes. Yeah, you know, you can give him particular eyes. So, I've got a funny feeling it's if you change, like, the smaller things, that doesn't affect the skin. The skin texture. If it's something like eyes, or possibly even the mouth, maybe, we'll have a look. Uh, so, we'll just... So yeah, I think it's basically, as long as you don't do something that alters the skin colour, you should be fine. But you might be able to go back to here and change the skin tone maybe. So you can change the skin tone, at least. And that changes, oh, cause obviously you're not going to have as many selections as this, but this just gives you an idea that you can mess around the skin tone a little bit, you know. So you got you got there is some uh you know, no diversity for alteration to the appearance of your character. But beware that some small little bugs may you know, may occur because of it. So I don't know, we're just gonna give this person I don't know. Uh, let's just give him some hair. There they go. Give it that hair, and then I know we'll make it blue. There you go. Whatever. That's done. All right. So there you go. Boom. That. Uh, we'll just call them. No, not that. We'll just call them free. There you go. Screw it. Whatever. That works. Now, obviously my game's starting up a little bit differently as well because I do have the um fast alternative start. So that's so now you can see basically what your character looks like. Uh any other mods that I'm using that are appearing in this video I will also put in the uh a link to them in the description below. So like we've got fast alternative starts, um there's also another one that adds in stuff to do with um, basically like a slightly a bit more better customization for characters. Uh, let's have a look. Where we got? We got drinking in a tavern, stranded and helpless. Uh, you got whatever this one is, a faction, or owning a property. All right, so I'm gonna go and start drinking in a tavern. Because there, there is a reason why I want it to be in a tavern. So hopefully I end up in the right one. Alright. So I completely forgot it does this. So now i got to select the tavern. So where I'm actually going to want to go is... I'm going to want to go to Riverwood. And that's a particular reason why I want to go to Riverwood. In which in we will find out. Alright, so here we are, and obviously, lucky enough, I, due to this mod, I have been given a couple of things, you know, I've got, you know, I've got a little iron dagger, I've been given some items, apart from the ESDs I got earlier, but you know, I've got a couple of items, you know, so you get, you know, you get a couple of bits and pieces, I have set 72 empty wine bottles, um, it, it would appear that I have an alcohol problem, <laughs> Hard not to. but right, so the reason why we came to Riverwood, so we need to go, obviously, well, we need to go outside. All right, so somewhere around in the outside area, I'm not too sure where, but I'll find it. There are supposed to be some chests laying around. Right, so I know, I know where all the three chests are now. So they're all very, all three chests are all very near Riverwood. They're all basically within this small area here. So, if you come over to this tree, basically cross the bridge that's next to the blacksmith's, cross the bridge, come onto this small stack of land here, you come to this tree here, and you will find a forest nymph chest. So basically it's on the same island as the lumber mill. So you can have a look. So we got, we seem to have this, this, and this. Now, I don't know if they're going to work on the siren, but we will have a look. Now, for the, the siren's chest, go into the water. Don't have to worry about drowning, because you are a siren. 
And if you come to here, you'll find a siren chest. So you got seaweed, seaweed, and seaweed. And for the demon chest, what you gotta do is come to these ruins and see the big pillar here at the ruins here. And you're looking for this kind of chest here. There we go. Boom, boom, and boom. And there we go. There's all the chests. I now have a wolf coming at me. Right, now that I've dealt with all the enemies that want to eat me. So let's have a look. So, first off, we're going to have a look at the, um, we're going to have a look at the one that's spe specified for the siren. So, as you can see, it's, so it, it is basically what you were wearing when you were creating your character. Now, I'm going to guess that the others still look the same. So, yeah, they, the others still look the same. It's just that one's a heavy armor, one is a light armor, and obviously the other one is just clothing. So it all depending on what you need to wear for whatever like, kind of skill tree you're looking to go into. But, so that is the sirens one. So we need to see if these ones actually work on us. So we've got scorched leather. Now unfortunately it does appear to be that these don't work on the siren. I'm going to guess that the these ones also don't work. Oh, the, wind, the winding ivy does. As you can see. And then obviously it'll still be the same for like the heavy and the clothing. Alright. So you can see the only one that doesn't seem to work on me on this character at the moment is the scorched leather. But I'm going to leave that for you lot to find out and look for yourself if you are interested. So yeah, that's just a little look at this Custom Races mod by Julie Hart, which adds in a nymph, uh, well, forest nymph, a siren, and a demon with playable race. Um, and as you can see, I've got water breathing, so I don't have to worry about drowning in the water. We also have seduce. Seduced NPCs will fight next to you for 60 seconds. So, you know, that's a good, that's a point not a bad thing for if you start in the game and then obviously you got your normal starting spells as well so yeah so each one obviously has their own power and they have their own probably most likely have their own kind of effect as I said earlier on when I was creating the characters you know each race has their own like little perk about but yeah that's it for this one so you know it's it's not a big mod. It's not an overly complicated mod. It's not a. It's not a mod with like huge longevity for a video. But you know, I thought, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do this one. I thought, show off the custom races by Julie Ha in this video. So I will leave a link in the description below to this mod. If you, you know, if you feel like, yeah, why not? I don't. Why not have some new races I can play as? I will also leave a link in the description below to the couple of other mods that kind of also kind of featured in this video, which is the fast alternate start, and I believe, I believe the other one is like all in one creation or one all in one character creation or so it's something along those lines. Either way, there will be a link in the description to that mod as well. So that's it for this one. I know it's probably a bit of a short video, but. Regardless, I hope you still enjoyed it anyway. Uh, so please remember to like and subscribe and to share this video with some of your friends. And also come and find me on Twitter uh, where I just post an every now and then just some random rubbish because that's what Twitter is for. For me at least it's just posting random rubbish. You know, give me a follow on there. And also on there, you can either leave me suggestions for other mods, or links to other mods, or you could do it via the comments below. You know, if there's any mods that you think, oh, well, why don't you have a look at this one? And if, you know, if I think, like, yeah, I could do a video on that, I'll do a video on it. If not, it might not get shown, but, yeah, let's see what happens. But that's it for this, this one. So, until next time, I'll see you all later.